I've stolen my cousin's phone. What? What the hell? <laughs> Harry, give me a phone. Okay, so this is the outside of my tack shed. Now, these it has two big doors. It has this door and that one there that's open. And on this door here, I have a caution horses sign and a no entry authorised personnel only sign. And so they can both come open really big. And I always have them open because it gives me good lighting. Because at the moment, I don't have power in my shed. But I'm hopefully getting that soon. So this is inside my shed. I'll give you a little overview. Okay, so as you might know, I moved into this house about a month or so ago and if you're subscribed to me, you'll know that I kind of just moved in here. So this is pretty much all my stuff apart from my bridle, but yeah. So I'll start from this corner here. So here I have my gum boots and I have my black ones, my mum's um navy and um pink sporty ones but she doesn't wear them so i use them and then just some other black ones that no one really uses and here i have a little aqua greeny step up thing and it folds it in and out i leave it out like that so it can have things on it then here i have my grooming box but it's changed a lot so if you want an updated tour on that you can just suggest it down below because it's changed a lot since i got my tax shed and here I have my pink washing grooming box that so has all my washing supplies. Then I have my cousin's grooming box because he keeps his stuff in my tack shed. Then I have my tack cleaning stuff and there will be a video up of that shortly, like in about a week or so. Then I have a picnic blanket for going on picnics while riding and it's a really good one because it just folds up and you can put it on your saddle. And then I have my cousin's everyday grooming box kind of thing. So. On my step up stool, I have a picnic basket, but that's kind of hard to bring on rides. So then I got this for two dollars. It's like a backpack picnic basket and has a few sets of plates and cutlery, and then it has a little drink bottle thing. It's just a backpack. It's pretty cool. Got it from a garage sale for two dollars. <laughs> so that's all of this. And then here is my table. There's just a little overview. And I'll start from underneath it. So underneath I have a sawhorse and I use that for cleaning my saddle because it's just easier than having it on its saddle rack. Then I have two milk carton container things, crates, sorry. Two milk crates. And on the one on the top I have some coloured rope for making rope halters, which I might do. I just found this in my dad's shed, so I was like, oh, maybe I'll give it a go. But I haven't done any yet. Then I have my buckets for like cleaning my brushes or bringing hay or water out to the troughs and stuff for the horses. I have a purple one, I have a blue one, and a big green one. So they're handy. So that's just under my table. Then I have this, on top of it, I have this like white fold out table that I found in my dad's garage. So I'll start with a little cabinet. I just have a Talisha's tax shed sign on it because I don't know where I'm going to put that yet. I'm going to put it outside, but there's nowhere really to put it yet. So I'll just put that there for now. Just open it. So I got this thing for like $3 at a little market. I thought it would be handy, so I got it. Then here I have my oops, smartphone little thing you put on your arm or leg when you're riding. And I find that handy because I film on my phone. So then it's always with me and it's easier than so I don't drop it or anything. Then I have my good hands black riding gloves. So that's on the top shelf. Now on the second shelf I have these little, I don't know why I have these, but I have these little check ticket things like raffle ticket. So yeah, I don't know really why I have those, but then I have a little spray bottles. Then I have some face paint which you can use on the horses because it's like water based if it's fine for their skin. 
And then at the back I had these little container things and I just have some old braiding bands and some treats and stuff in there. Then on the last shelf I just have my Dublin half chaps and yeah. So that's my little cabinet. So yeah, it's really handy, the little cabinets and I'll just put this back on it. So over here I have a little rat bait thing that my dad put in here just in case I get rats, which isn't really a problem for me. I get spiders, a lot of them, and I hate it, but anyway. So then I have a collection of horseshoes. I have a little one there if you can kind of see it. There. Yeah. Then I have, that's my first horseshoe. I ever got that one, then I have that one because it's cute. Then I have a horse welcome sign where I have like a, I got it from, it's in one of my tackles if you want to see about it. Then I have some more horseshoes. I have this little horse head that I got for Christmas from my auntie. And I have a horse lover sticker. This little fox sticker that was for raising money for like endangered wildlife and for her, for like preventing animals getting run over and stuff like that. So I just put that in here. And then I have this horse calendar, which is for um, 2014. So happy new year, guys. And. I hope you're having a great new year, <laughs> which I haven't really started it yet, but anyway, so it's got a little dapple grey horse, wait, it's not focusing, hard to tell, but it's a dapple grey horse, and then some cows in the lake with the cowboy guy, I should probably put, I don't really know how to keep it up, oh, I think you're supposed to rip it off, so anyway, that's this bit, and over here, I have my little stereo, which isn't on at the moment because I put batteries in it and so I save batteries I don't always leave them in there. Then I have this little horse plastic bag thing so I have all my plastic bags in there. And then this is my shelf that on the top. I have a cowboy boot drink bottle which I fill up and put in my dog's water bottle which I have one at my shed. And then I have an empty treat container and at the back I have a one filled with licorice which is slightly bigger for horse treats. I have this little garbage bin, I don't really know why I have it, but then I have my whiteboard markers, because I have a whiteboard in here. I have my second shelf. I have four bandages, because you never know when you're going to need them. Then I have a little coin purse thing that you can attach to your saddle. I have some twine, um, measuring tape for measuring jumps, and over here I have like cords and remotes and batteries for my stereo. Here I just have an empty container. And here's my first aid kit. And in my first aid kit, I have some paw paw cream, chapstick, Vaseline, and some band aids. So that's my second shelf. And on my last shelf, I have a container, a spray bottle filled with fly spray. I have some cable ties, some bug spray, more cable ties and little cable cutters because I hang most of the stuff up in my shade with cable ties. I have a little so solar torch, some clips, little paper clip. I have some pins for my cork board and these little booklets. And then I have scissors and these big um, paint things for painting the horses. You put your whole hand in it and then it's really handy. So you can do like handprints on the horses when you're painting them. Oops, sorry. I have four of those. There's like blue, yellow, and red, and green. So that's my bottom shelf. Now, that's my whole table. I'll give you an overview. Okay, moving on to this wall. I have my corkboard slash whiteboard, and I wrote Talisha's tack room tour on it. Then I have a little air freshener thing and a letter from my friend that I put in there. So, that's it. And then here, there's like this little hook that was already in my shed and I just hung some drink bottles on it and these are really cool ones because when they have no water in them, they go flat and they have clips, so I clip it onto my saddle and I'm riding. Then here I have my bridle rack and my helmet. Now my bridle's not here at the moment because I have it inside at the moment, don't really know why. But here is my saddle rack. Oh, sorry, there's Willow drinking the water. Little border collie pup she is. Then there's Charlie. He's passed down the floor. <laughs> um, anyway, so this is my saddle rack. And here I have my two saddle pads. I have the purple one, which kind of looks pink. And then a royal blue one, which kind of looks purple. Don't ask me why. But 
I don't really have anywhere to put them at the moment, but I recently ordered off the Hawthorne website this bridal rack. No, sorry, saddle pad rack. And you, I'm going to put it on the wall here. I can hang my saddle pads on it. And then I have my saddle. Yeah. <laughs> and so this is the overview of this area. So then I'll give you a view of this wall. Okay, so we're going to start with these hooks. And as you may or may not know, my two like colour tack theme is blue and purple. So I have a blue halter, my purple lead rope and purple lunge line. And that's just my hooks, they're pretty cool. Then here I have some more hooks. I have a white fly veil because it was only $5 and there were no blue or purple ones. Then I have my purple and blue plaited hay net. And then over here, or up here, I have my bridal cleaning hook. So you hang your bridal, you can hang your stirrup leathers on it and you polish them. So it's pretty cool to have that hanging from my ceiling. And here are some more hooks of just random stuff. And here's an old lead rope, which I don't really use because it's not my colour theme. Then I have a dustpan for cleaning my shed, a black dressage crop. And then I have this bag where my lunch line used to be in. And then here I have a broom. I have a pink garbage bin and my little um, water bowl for my dogs. So that's my tack shed. I'll give you an overview. And also up here I have a caution horses sign. Now so that's inside of my tack shed. And now I'm going to show you the outside. So I have plans for this area, but obviously because I only just moved in, there's nothing much I can do. So there was this whole old hitching post, which obviously they used. But my plans are to get rid of that and some of the bush and make a stall, one horse horse stall, going up there. So then I can just keep my horse in there. And then over here, I want to get rid of this old hitching post and put... Two sets of cross ties for my cousin and my horse. So I thought that would be pretty cool. And maybe the next time I do a tax shed tour, an updated one, that might be done. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next week. And Happy New Year. Hope you're enjoying the new year. And I'll see you next week, guys. Bye.